Okay, so I uh, got a question on, um, you know, I, I actually participate in 12-step groups, particularly a food-based 12-step uh, fellowship and, and go to those meetings regularly. So I got this question, which I could relate. Like if I was to suddenly move away from my 12-step meetings, which have been, you know, almost like a home for many, for, for well over a decade, um, I could feel a bit like, you know, something like I'm leaving the home of my spiritual roots for um, recovery or my spiritual family or God within the context of the of recovery or the 12-step meetings that I attend. And, uh, and, um, and so it could feel like I'm moving away. I'm moving, you know, like I'm abandoning the program, abandoning recovery, abandoning that route almost like abandoning my church, if you like, in a way. Um, uh, uh, and there can, there could, you know, there could come up some feelings of, um, all kinds of feelings could come up. I know for myself, they, they would. You know, I think one of the things uh, would be, but you know, um, definitely the only route to, to God is not a 12, 12 step, uh, the 12 step uh, recovery meetings and the program. You know, it is, um, so I think it is okay uh, to, I mean, it's okay to leave one spiritual family or regularity or one spiritual group or church or whatever it is. Um, if it's, uh, but then, you know, it's like, uh, I've, I have some experience to share on that. Like in the uh, COVID situation, you know, we used, I used to go to these face-to-face -face meetings uh, on a daily basis, which, I, which I've just stopped now. And so it's more the Zoom has taken over. So what I found was in order to keep, and it isn't quite, you know, my actual connection to God is reduced, but I found, you know, it's like the, um, so it's the thing of the awareness, the consciousness of God on a daily basis. And if one does things and one feels that um, the consciousness of God is getting more distant, things like fear, um, thoughts and also uh, unmanageability are starting to creep in and that's also a clue that the conscious contact with that peace that serenity that love that protects the divine the care of God is starting to diminish too far um, so I know for myself that I've substituted um, the face-to-face -face meetings which seem to have a very high vibration with Zoom meetings and intense prayer. So I'm doing huge amounts of prayer and I found that the prayer, very long periods of prayer do create a similar kind of effect to uh, the conscious contact I got from face to face, not as powerful, but I can create quite a good effect of that connection. And then things tend to be much more manageable and serene. And there seems to be much more of a, um, a flow. So, um, so uh, yeah, so um, so that's uh, so the thing with that then is um, I think you know the thing I would be concerned with is if I lose that connection to the divine by getting distracted by things in the world, and there are signs that life is becoming unmanageable or difficult, like God's grace is starting to leave. I would um, you know it doesn't have to be recovery. It could be anything else that connects you to the divine. I mean, there are so many ways to connect to the, the consciousness and the love. And as you can, one connects to that infinite stillness and love and peace, then I've always experienced that whatever problems, they start disappearing and manageability starts to creep into life and there's flow. So, um, so I just think, you know, and I found with my own experience that moving away from my old, route, my old routine of physical meetings, um, I've had to adapt so that I keep that consciousness of God through different methods and methodologies. Um, and I'm sure every, every seeker will find their own roots if they leave one kind of church or fa spiritual family or conduit pathway to keep that up. But I would say that, you know, in terms of 12 steps, it's like once the presence starts leaving and one gets distracted by things in the world significantly, um, then possibly the divine connection will reduce. And my own experience is that uh, getting too absorbed with anything in the world uh, at the expense of the divine connection or the conscious contact with God 
has n never been a good idea for me because unmanageability, a fear, and uh, things starting to go wrong. So it's like almost like an, a barometer. If I see unmanageability creep in, more difficult relationships happening and sort of um, what I call hardship in the world starting to creep in, I know that I'm taking my eye off that inner spiritual connection. Okay, I'll press 